Well, I'm trying a new spot this afternoon. I have never hunted here. Well, I've turkey hunted there. I've never deer hunted here. I scouted it for deer about three years ago and never went in. And the main reason for that being that it's too much of a hike to get in and out. Uh, too much thicket, too much... It, it wouldn't be worth uh, killing anything other than a giant back in there. But I'm going back to uh, do a little scouting and pick a tree, hopefully, and get in the stand. Maybe we'll kill a doe, maybe not. Kind of depends what the sign looks like and what kind of deer I see. I'm going to come in here by water, and uh, that'll make dragging out a deer a lot easier. I've been wanting to do this for a couple years, and uh, this is a, now I'm finally getting around to do it. We had a cold front come in yesterday. The weather is finally nice. So uh, maybe the deer will be moving. It's already three o'clock. Time got away from me quick, like it usually does. Um, I had things I had to do at home before I headed out here, so I'm here when I'm here, so I don't have much time to scout. The quicker I can find the spot, the better. You got a whole cluster of red oaks right here. Let's look for uh, some deer sign. I'm trying to find some definite sign like droppings or notched caps. This is an empty cap. I'll see if I can show you uh, what I mean by notched. Here's an acorn cap with a notch I believe to be from a deer. See this notch right in the edge? You can see where the edge has clearly got a chip. Not only that, but it's cracked. Now, a squirrel doesn't just crack it like that. And the reason a deer only notches it on one side is because they only have incisors on the bottom. So they bite into that acorn, it pops its shell off their bottom teeth, put a little notch in there. In this case, it cracked, and that looks fresh. Here's one, it's not really notched, it's more like a big chunk taken out of it. That's more where a squirrel chews into it. You can see it's not cracked, it's actually chewed away. And oftentimes, squirrels will make a much smaller notch, similar to that of a deer. So if it looks like it's been chewed or chipped away, it's more likely a squirrel. Whereas if it's just a crease or a crack, it's more likely from a deer's teeth. Look at the ground on this deer trail. If we're on a deer highway, you can kind of tell. See where it kind of goes down through the woods. But I've been seeing a lot of armadillo sign now. This is a good sign here. See a straight edge in the dirt. You can see where that's an imprint. Here's an even better example where you can see the tip of the hoof right there. It's, not, it's pretty subtle, but there's obviously fresh deer tracks in this dirt right here. And here's where the armadillo's been rooting around. That makes it hard to find fresh deer sign sometimes. So I found what looks like decent deer sign. A good deer trail, fresh tracks, a few notched acorns, a bunch of acorns on the ground. Uh, a bunch of red oak trees, but before I pick my tree to climb, I see a big white oak up ahead, and they prefer the white oak acorns if they're dropping. So we're gonna go look at that real quick. So the tree behind me is a chinkapin oak. That's just a type of white oak. Probably one of the deer's favorite acorns to eat, and uh, that probably being because they're lower in tannic acid, they're not as bitter. That's my guess why they like them. But they're small acorns. They usually separate from the caps when they fall, so you're not going to see so much of that notching from a deer biting into it. The acorns are real small, usually about that big, dark brown, shiny, kind of like a little black olive. And I found a few of them here. And I found a, a few piles of deer droppings. The only thing that concerns me is none of them are super fresh. 
but I don't want to walk all over here and stink up the woods looking for fresh poop so I'm gonna pick me a tree and get in the get up in the tree and I hate to do this but I'd like to really kind of try to zero in a little bit I'm gonna walk the field edge real quick and see if I can find the heaviest trail coming out well, I found one good trail but all the tracks were coming back into the woods and I really don't have time to scour everything and spread scent everywhere so I'm just gonna say they're coming out here somewhere I know they're coming back in here so uh, I'm gonna climb right here and uh, I'll see you in the tree got a pretty good view of this little cluster of oak trees I couldn't get that on video. I was at full draw the whole time. He, uh, he heard the string noise or smelled where I was standing down there or something. You saw him. He came back around on the other side of the tree. I had to get the boat up and around the tree trunk. And I had to be careful my limb wasn't going to hit my climber. I shot him a little bit low. It looked like a heart shot. I guess I need to give him time. I, I know which way he ran. I shot him down here. He carried the arrow. I hit the offside leg. He's a decent buck. He'd be my biggest on public land by far. He coming down. He came from the field. Okay, I started looking for blood and I found the arrow that came out after like 10 yards. Well, it broke. There's some blood. There's some blood. Okay. Good penetration. Good bright red drops of blood. That's a great sign. Okay, I'm going to stick this right here for reference if I can come back to it. Took me a minute to pick up blood again, but I got a few splatters where he crossed this log. I put my TP right there. He's going this way. There's more blood. That looks pretty good, actually. I think I found him, though. Not a good blood trail, but what do you expect when the air gets stuck in him? He's right here. Yeah, that's 
It's a low shot. Thank you, Lord. I was nervous about that one. I thought I hit him good, but I was nervous about it. He's a nine point. Beautiful deer. Well, the bar has been raised. Finally got me a decent one out here on public. I've been hunting this particular piece of public land since the beginning, since day one. And I've never killed a decent buck. And I've let a bunch of young ones walk. I've killed two yearlings in the past and since then haven't shot a single yearling out here. I let a few two-year-olds walk. Never got a shot at a good one until today. He just came in on his own. Came in down the field edge and came right up under my stand and I almost almost lost him, almost got busted. But he hung around just long enough for a shot. Now, uh, he's not my biggest buck to date, but being where I'm hunting, I knew when I saw him coming towards me, I knew he was the one. And like I said, the bar's raised now. If I kill another one out here, it'll be bigger than this one. But I'm very happy for this. And I actually made a better shot than I thought. I knew it was, a, I knew it was in the right area. I just thought I hit him too low. I, I was worried. You know how it is, the suspense, waiting to climb down. But anyway, I gotta quit talking. I need to get this guy gutted and get him back down to the canoe.